He won the Nike Cross Nationals event. He was second at the Foot Locker Nationals event. You know, he had been a high school national champion, one of NAU's fastest runners of all time. They won the national title. Went to the trials in 2016. He's won the U.S. 10 mile championships. He's run 101 for the half marathon on multiple occasions. He won the U.S. championships. Then he ran 209.40 at the Rotterdam Marathon. He was 10th at New York City, top American there. My name is Futsum Zena Selassie. I'm a professional runner. I train with the Northern Arizona Elite. Becoming a father, what it has done for me is um, just, you know, to be able to lead, you know, lead to someone by your action. And it's what really kind of the foundation of, uh, of who I am and, and how I approach running. I, I feel like I've always kind of known him as a runner. I've seen him evolve um, when we did have a say. He just became more serious about the sport. He did every little thing. Is it stretching, rolling, um, even though Issa likes to get in the way of that sometimes. And just writing down his goals and really tackling them. He was always a runner, and so his main goal was to like make it into the Olympics. That's what he's been working towards like all these years. I'm originally from Eritrea, and it's a small country in East Africa, border of Ethiopia, Sudan, and and I was born in a small village named Dara. I lived there with my my two older brother and uh, my younger brother, who's who's about five years younger than I am. I've always had an interest in running because my older brother ran. He was running when I was back home. I used to hold his 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 warm up clothes while he goes for like you know a 10k or 12k run. I used to watch him work out of the track. When we moved to America, you know, to the U.S., I was 13. I was it was myself and my younger brother and my mom. And coming to the state, it, it was not it was not a very easy transition. But, you know, when we first arrived and the first two months in school was it was probably one of the toughest time of my life because I come from a culture where you know we're always talking, man. <laughs> we're always talking. We're always hanging out, and I'm a, I'm at a place where. I'm not talking for like six seven hours, man. And then I have no idea what people are saying and. Those were some really hard time. Coming here as an immigrant, especially with Futsum, you know, like he came here from Eritrea, it must have been really, really hard. And you feel out of place and you're being told that this is a great opportunity, but then you go to school, you have to figure out how to survive and make friends. And that is really hard when you're younger. One thing I'm, I'm very grateful and appreciative of the, the U.S. culture is like when, when they see talent, everyone really wants to help out. And uh, eighth grade came around, obviously, by then I'm at least I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable, you know, I can get around. Uh, but then running came through, man, start winning races and, and people start wondering about who I was. The 2011 Foot Locker National Cross Country Championship. 2011 Midwest Regional Foot Locker Cross Country Champion puts them Dennis Alonti. If I was to look back, you know, from my freshman year high school to freshman year college, is uh, it was an adjustment, adjustment that like, hey, this is a whole, a whole different type of game. We can call it. It's a matter of you know time, you know. It's a matter of like you know understanding like there's people here that's been here for three years, put them you know work, you know miles and miles. So like after my sophomore year, I I knew I was one of the top guys in college. Eight years of uh, high school, running at the high school level and college level. I mean, it allowed me obviously to be a student of the sport. The foundation of that is obviously what became signing my first contract as a pro athlete, a pro runner with the Northern Arizona Elite. So when Futsum first became a teammate of mine at Hoka NAZ Elite, I would say he definitely had a, you know, like, I'm a new professional runner, I just got out of college. And when you've been a pro runner for a long time, you're kind of humbled by performances, by losing. I think maybe he had like a little bit of a wake up call when he's like, oh wow, everyone's actually really good on this pro scene. I think for him, it was maybe a little overwhelming. You're not just gonna beat all these guys. I mean, these are pros and they, they work really hard. And I think things didn't happen maybe as quick as, as he or anyone would, would have liked them to. And so after one year, he decided to go in a different direction. When I thought, you know, how things was gonna be right out of college wasn't what was happening. That's, that's like, yeah, being back, you know, feeling like being back at the bottom again. It was not an easy, 
decision to do. And I, I remember that was part of growing up, part of, you know, um, you know, I don't know how to explain that one, but that's, that's when I actually decided, you know, I wanted to leave this team. Sometimes see, you lose exactly what life is and what it is about. And, and I think maybe running was taken over of, you know, who I, I thought I am, you know? But <laughs> your worth of who you are as a human being is not in how you perform. We saw each other sort of informally at some time in, in 2022, and he said, hey, I really like what you guys are doing. You know, I, I would be interested in rejoining if, if, that's pos if that's possible. We got the sense that this wasn't a guy who was desperate. This was a guy who knew what he wanted to do. Running a marathon, you know, like you have to believe in yourself that you can do it and the state belongs to him. We have a race that determines who gets to represent our country and it's you and yourself. The opportunity, it's, it's huge because it only comes every four years and there's so much emphasis like on this one day, but a lot of it is like who you are becoming in pursuit of that. February 3rd there, the start line. I want to know that, you know, you know, I've done everything I can to prepare for this race. For me, my goal obviously starts with, you know, my family and how, you know, my two boys, my wife obviously views me as, as a husband, my two kids as a father. I do think of them when it comes to that, like, hey, make sure, you know, I'm giving 110% because I don't want to ever be in a position to tell my son, you're not giving 110% when I know I didn't do that myself, you know? My home life, who I am, has been a journey and still is a journey. So, and that's what the marathon is, man. <laughs> life is good, man. <laughs>